so guys now our uh, firebase or database has been uh, set up correctly so i need to declare a late initiate variable which is uh, which can be called as my database equals to database reference uh, not database equals to this of type database reference and then i'm going to declare this database my database equals to firebase database create an instance of the database uh, with a reference like uh, i'm going to get that reference of the database which is pointing to the child names so i'm just creating a tree like structure uh, the m database variable is going to uh, this is of type database reference is going to point is going to get a reference uh, from my firebase database console and is going to set a reference to uh, the names child so inside my names child i'm going to put my name value so before i'm going to do that i need a value called as user equals to my authentication dot current user which indicates that i'm going to get uh, the value of the current user then another value which is which is set it to the uid uh, each and every single uh, email account uh, which has been created uh, uh, or which has been registered into your uh, app has its own separate unique identification uh, key so i'm going to extract this unique identification key right now so my value dot value uh, which is of type uid uh, i'm going to place a uh, user dot uid it's nothing but i'm going to extract uh, wait a second i need to put on an asserted call uh, so okay this this is nothing but from my current user i'm going to extract his unique identification key and i'm going to convert it into string i'm going to convert it into string and i'm going to place this value uh, in my uid variable there's no need for me to convert this into testing just keep it as set as so now i'm just going to call in my database uh, reference then i'm going to need the other child inside this child i'm going to pass on my uid value and i'm going to need another child which is going to hold a parameter called as name now inside this child i'm going to set my value and i'm going to pass my name so this is how you can uh, set your value right into the real time database uh, which has been offered by the firebase and if after completing uh, this task you can uh, yeah you can uh, ca call in a text toast and display a message that uh, you have been successfully signed in now set the toast duration and make sure to display the toast so this is how uh, your register activity is going to perform it's going to uh, create an, an uh, new account uh, using uh, the email and the password which has been provided by the user and uh, it takes the value of the name which has been provided by the user and st sticks it to the database so that you can retrieve it uh, on your next uh, activity that is your timeline activity so uh, in this timeline activity we're going to see how to display a welcome message which is uh, along with the name which has been registered uh, by the user so at this point i'm going to need a, a late initiate value to refer to my database my database equals to i'm going to get the instance of my firebase uh, database and uh, yeah i got the instance of my firebase database but i think so i don't need oh it's wrong way my m database should be of type database reference then at this point only i can get the instance of my firebase database and also its reference uh, make sure to stick with the same names because i'm going to defer uh, some values from under this uh, tree uh, named as child and uh, name as names and inside this names uh, child i'm going to point which is going to point to the uid of the current user 
and uh, inside this UID, I'm going to have a parameter called as name, which is going to hold the user name. So I need to uh, give the same value as of which I have given in my register uh, dot Kotlin file. And then I'm going to add a new uh, add value event listener. Uh, the main purpose of adding an add value event listener is nothing but it's going to take a snapshot of your data and it's going to pass it into your uh, text view that we're going to that we have created. So after adding an add value event listener, get inside and create a, a override function, override function uh, on data change. I'm going to set this P02 snapshot on data snapshot. So uh, I'm going to, as I said before, I have just got my snapshot value. Now I need to get the extract the text from my snapshot value and I need to display it uh, as a welcome message uh, in my text view of this timeline activity. Before that, I need to check for the errors. So I need to implement the methods to prevent this error. Uh, so, I, so if you want to prevent the error, you, do, you need to implement both the methods on data change and also on cancel. Uh, we will explain to you about this on cancel method in the in the upcoming videos. For this instance, we need we are going to use the on data change method. So now, inside my on data change method, I'm gonna uh, before that and in on create function, I'm gonna declare a value called as uh, this text, and uh, I'm gonna get its uh, widget using find view by ID or dot identification dot display text as text view. So now I'm going to set the value. This text uh, for now, I'm going to get the value um, result in form of result equals to snapshot dot child soft name dot to string so now we gotta set this value into our uh, uh, display text widget this can be done by this text dot text equals to result so we can set this value like this uh, at the same time we, we are going to display a welcome message so i'm going to concatenate a string called as welcome leave a space right over there concatenate with my this so that's it for uh, creating this thing for to not to sign out of this sign out out of this activity as i said before i've created a menu uh, for this purpose so i need to declare this menu into this um, uh, timeline activity therefore i'm going to ca call in on options uh, on create options menu then i'm going to call in a function called as get menu inflator not get menu inflator menu inflator dot inflate so i'm going to call in this uh, inflate function uh, menu inflator dot inflate function then uh, i'm going to call in the resource dot identification dot menu no resource dot menu uh, dot menu so dot menu dot menu comma i'm going to set in the value of the menu right over there so that I have declared the menu uh, into our timeline activity. Now, if my user selects an item from that menu, for that uh, uh, he should uh, that item should perform any other particular operation based on its uh, type. So for that instance, I'm gonna create a function called as on options item selector. Inside the function, I'm gonna uh, pass an if statement if my uh, or dot id dot sign up is equals equals to uh, my menu value things so uh, inside this on options item selector I'm gonna pass in an if statement uh, with the condition of item dot 
uh, an assertion called dot um, equals if item dot, sorry, sorry if item dot get item uh, item id equals to or this will start id dot sign out then I'm going to perform an operation called as sign out uh, like m m auth wait a second for this authentication purpose I'm going to declare a value called as my auth and I'm going to call in the instance of my firebase auth and uh, as soon as I call this instance, I'm going to declare mauth dot sign out. So as soon as my user click presses the sign out button, uh, now it will get sign out of my uh, of that user's particular account. So after getting uh, signing out, I should return my user to the default uh, login page. For that, I'm going to use an intent uh, specify the context of this activity and uh, it should switch over to my main activity it's class.java then i should display a toast message and this context say him logged out and then set the duration then show so that's it guys that's it our coding part now uh, let's run this app to see if it works properly or not. Initializing. So I'm gonna skip this part because it takes some while to build the Gradle file. Once it's done, I'll be resuming this part. So now our app has started uh, to run. Uh, before I'm going to register an account into my application, uh, let's go to the sign in method tab under authentication in your Firebase console. Under sign in providers, uh, you need to make sure that the email or password feature has been enabled. By default, it, it will be disabled. So you, you got to enable this feature in order to use the uh, sign in method uh, using uh, email password feature. Now, to enable the sign in method using email pass password feature, now I'm going to register uh, uh, my account. Uh, uh, let's type in my email uh, password and I'm going to set a name to my account. So if I'm going to click this register button, it will get registered and you can see uh, it's displaying a message. Uh, it's, it is storing my name value in the database and it's going to fetch my value outside the database. Uh, I'm going to sign out of my profile. I'm going to go into the database tab in my um, Firebase console and you can see uh, the names uh, child has been created inside that uh, my UID child has been created and I have set in my name uh, using a value called as using a parameter called as name parameter. Now you can see that my uh, UID I, under my UID my name has been stored. So this is how you can uh, perform login operation using Firebase and uh, the code to this project has been available at the description uh, uh, check it out and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel um, if you have any comments uh, doubts uh, leave it in the comments right below